Hello, good morning everyone and welcome to the listening and speaking class. How are you all? Right, now today we're basically going to focus on the pronunciation because this is very important when you're going to speak or when you're going to have a listening exercise or you know having a listening exam. So pronunciation is really important. And why it is important? I'm gonna tell you, but before that, let me tell you what we're gonna do. In the first place, we're gonna have some activities so that uh, we understand the differences we have. Um, I have written four names here: Jan Lipman, Jane Lipman, Jan, Jane Lipman, Jan Lipman. Now I'm gonna play an audio clip, and I want to listen very carefully and identify which one you think to listen to first okay now before I do that I'm gonna play that clip at a pace then you tell me if you can identify or not if not then I'm gonna play you one by one so that you understand so if you're ready listen to the options test one example Jane Leakman Jan Lipman, Jane Lipman, Jan Lipman. Okay. Now, was it very easy to identify the words? That sometimes you had difficulties, especially with Lipman. Yes. Now, see, with Jan, Jane, it's it's kind of easy to identify, but the problem is with the Lipman, Lipman. Now, unless you're having exposure or the knowledge of having the sound pattern, it's really difficult. But this is what we're going to practice today. So, see, when we have I, that's a short I, so we're going to say Lipman. It's very condensed, Lipman. But when you have L E A P, Lipman, a little bit longer than Lipman. So, Lipman, 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 Lipman. Okay, now I'm gonna play it one by one, and you gotta tell me which name do you sing. Listen first. Test one. Example. Jane Leakman. So Jane, definitely been these two. And uh, was it short or long? A little long. Okay, so this is Lipman. This is number one. Now number two. Jan Lipman. Jan Lipman. So this is shot one. Jan Lipman. So this is number two. Jane Lipman. Jane Lipman. So this is number three. And definitely the last one. Jan Lipman. So this is the last one. Now, let's have an interesting activity. I bought this worksheet. This worksheet has 10 questions with four options each. What you have to do, I'm going to play the audio clip and you have to identify the name and for your convenience I have made all the names only because this is the common thing you have encountered so it will be easier for you to identify. Now. What you have to do, take this activity sheet and you have to listen to the audio clip and identify like this one, two, three, four, which one you think you hear in the first place, then the second one, third and the fourth and so on. And before I give away this uh, worksheet, I want all of you to form a group of four and I want you to, to distribute this paper among all Okay, so all of you has the activity sheet and the 10 questions I have given you. Now, listen 
into the clip very carefully and as you know you have to identify one, two, three, four. Now let's see which group performs the best. So are you guys ready? Alright, so I'm gonna play uh, from number one. So listen very very carefully, okay? It's starting right now. One. Mark Wilson, Mick Wilson, Matt Wilson, Mike Wilson. Three, Marie Pierce, Mary Pierce, Mary Pierce, Marie Pierce. Four, Lucia, Luke. Lucille, Lucy, five, Peter Bales, Peter Bales, Pete Bales, Pete Bales, six, Barbara Eaton, Barbie Eaton, Barbara Heaton, Bobby Heaton. Seven. Jane Newman. Jane Newman. Joe Newman. Joe Newman. Eight. Sir Ralph Grigson. Sir Ralph Grigson. Sir Ralph Grigson. Sir Ralph Grigson. Nine. Bet. Betty. Bess. Beth. Ten. Gert Fraser. Kurt Frazier. Gert Frazier. Kurt Fraser. All right. So, are you done? Excellent. So now what I'll suggest you to do is, you know, shuffle the answer scripts. Please write your name on it and shuffle the answer scripts. And we're going to check the answers and see which group has done great. And then I'm going to give you the answers and we're going to listen to this audio clip once more so they can understand how the pronunciation is. Uh, you know, it's sometimes different and how to identify uh, words when you're listening to it. Alright, so please, pass it on. <laughs> 